is a big housing estate. Um, about 10,000 people live on Castle Vale in the northeast part of Birmingham, just off junction 5 of the M6. And sort of it's a landlocked area sandwiched between um, the, the river and the Tyburn Island, and there's, it's very well boundaries. So much so that in the old days, a lot of people would live most of their lives on Castlebell and not go very far, even though you can get to Solly Hall and the centre of Birmingham on, on the bus route. So back in the day, Castlevale was originally built as a very large development of tower blocks, but there were 34 um, tower blocks built in the 1960s, an old fashioned 1960s estate, which in its day was fantastic. Um, over the years, unfortunately, it became quite notorious for problems with the uh, high rise uh, blocks, crime, deprivation, poverty. And uh, so much so that by the time we got to the sort of 1980s and then the early 1990s, there was a massive uh, regeneration scheme on Castlevale, which is now quite well known under the Housing Action Trust. They did a fantastic job to uh, redevelop the whole estate. And um, a lot of the houses are now managed by the Castlevale Community Housing Action Trust. And they provide lots of opportunities to serve the local community in terms of uh, youth services, uh, voluntary work, um, environmental work. It, it's a great place to live and be. And particularly as Christians, it's a great place to work with the local community um, to get to know and befriend the families, the young people and serve all age groups. Thankfully, um, having worked here in the Castlevale Christian Fellowship for many years, there has been a Christian witness uh, which had been very vibrant for 30 years, initially founded by uh, Gordon Glennis Sitch under the Birmingham City Mission. Um, they developed a, a church here called Castlevale Christian Fellowship, which was in operation for many years. We have found that the main needs of the, of the families and the children are to have a, a really good uh, witness in terms of people living on the estate and just being themselves and enjoying being um, you know, big brother, big sisters or godparents type figures to the local people. And certainly that's what myself and my husband did for the last 10 years and thoroughly enjoyed it. Many of the young people don't have stable um, families don't all have uh, fathers in the home and um, they just love having a safe place to come and chill out so we used to do things like youth club um, a night or two a week for different age groups the age range is from eight right through to um, 16 and then we have uh, relationships still with probably um, many youngsters up to the age of uh, mid-twenties now, because uh, the Castlevale Christian Fellowship hasn't really been operating um, functionally for the last uh, 12 months, there's an open door now for new people to come in. And uh, we particularly felt as trustees that the Eden Network would uh, be able to build on what has gone before in terms of our good reputation, both with the CVCHA and the local community and youth work providers. So, Already there are open doors for volunteers to work with a fantastic young man called Jay at the Sanctuary who is in charge of youth outreach on Castlevale Estate and there's lots of plans to develop um, partnerships to bless them as they do their work as well as obviously Eden Network doing whatever the centre manager wanted to do in the community. Um, the local churches consist of an Anglican church with a very good um, uh, vicar there called Father James uh, but there aren't really many other churches that are operating uh, and particularly reaching the needs of young people. Catholic Church, I think, has a vacancy uh, at the moment for a priest. So there's lots of potential. And um, one of the exciting things of Castlevale is as much as the uh, physical regeneration has occurred, there's still a desperate need for ongoing um, love and care. And absolutely, um, there's an open door for the gospel and a lot of goodwill with the families that have been in relationship with the um, people who've worked in Castlevale Christian Fellowship over the last 30 years. We have found in the past that um, what goes down really well, we've got a music room where the kids do rapping, um, that's all set up and ready to go, and um, the house uh, which Eden Network um, Centre Leader would live in uh, is multi-purpose. There's a, a hall where you can have meetings and training, um, and there's a small quiet room and a music room, and it's effectively a four-bedroom house with a kitchen and lounge. 
so it can be used as a multi-purpose facility. We found that uh, the youngsters particularly love going on weekends away and residentials and um, there's all manner of uh, activities um, and ways in which uh, the different volunteers could engage with, with the young people and their families. I'm really uh, excited to share more, but I've gone a long time. Um, if you came and lived in uh, Castlevale, um, you could enjoy a, you know, a good quality of life in terms of local facilities. There's a, a, a new shopping centre with a big Sainsbury's, there's a good library, there's a swimming pool. There are lots of community activities already going on, which um, Christians could tap into and become part of, as well as developing their own outreach. Um, Sadly, the reason I'm talking about it is because my husband um, passed away um, 18 months ago having faithfully served the community. And I know that he and I and the trustees of Castlevale Christian Fellowship um, really are 100% behind the uh, aims and the vision of Eden Network. We hope to work in partnership with local church planters as well as the established churches and have really goodwill from the um, local CVCHA and the youth work providers and the kids and their families. So they're all saying, when's help coming? And um, if you're interested, um, I'm sure you would uh, have a great time here. So uh, please uh, consider Castlevale and um, you know, ask me any questions. Um, thank you.